Hola, hola, good morning. It is 7 a.m. on September 15th. We have coffee in hand. We're ready to have a nice day. It is halfway through the month, which means it is finally time to decorate for Halloween. This year, I am choosing to just do Halloween and not fall. So I think this will be up for, I guess like six, six weeks perhaps. Yeah, six weeks. Uh, I think I'll change it right after Halloween to just straight to Christmas. So no like Thanksgiving, autumn, pilgrim, uh, cornucopia, which I've done in the past, not the pilgrim, the cornucopias. Um, so I think just an elevated Halloween this year. So I have to go get stuff from the garage, the cat room, the extra bedroom. I mean, I have things everywhere, I feel, like in different drawers and cabinets of the house. Plus, I have to show you guys all the things that I've been collecting over the past few weeks, which if you are following me, you know, a few weeks ago, I said I wasn't gonna get anything for Halloween this year. And I have definitely gotten things for Halloween this year from like Home Goods, Michaels, Target, online. I have things that should be coming from Amazon too. So I think today I wanna focus on just the inside of the house because I want to do outside, but I ordered new lights this year that Chad found on Amazon that I want to put on the big palm trees. However, it's been storming every day and crazy lightning. And the last thing I want to do is become a human antenna. So I'm going to wait to do the outside. And then maybe in a few days I will do that. But for sure, I want to at least want to get the inside done, like the main areas the dining room, the sitting area, so maybe sprinkle some in the kitchen, maybe get to the bathrooms. I don't know. I may have to DIY some things. I have some pumpkin colors, like a blue that I don't like anymore that I got from a few years ago. I wanted to spray paint those, but I don't know if I have enough spray paint. So we'll see what we can get done today. And decorating with cats and the animals, the dogs is always an experience because I always wonder what I'm doing. So. First coffee, I think I might even take a shower just to wake me up a little more because it's so early. It feels like we didn't sleep anything last night. Follow along and we'll make beautiful little vignettes out of the house. I'm back, I'm showered, I'm clean, I'm ready. I cleaned up the house a bit. I can't feel creative when there's a mess, even though most creatives are messy. Is that a thing? Do you guys agree? I feel like I'm messy behind the scenes. I could be very neat and organized and meticulous, but at the same time, a disaster. Anyways, so now I need to go start in the garage. I'm gonna see what I can get. Just thinking about being in the garage with bugs and spiders and whatever else, creeper crawlers are all things that haven't been touched in here. We're gonna start there, bring it in, set it all up, get inspired and go. I'm really gonna get us in the mood and light this bad boy. So lately, candles all give me a headache and this one doesn't. So, oh, I missed. Oh, is it because it's clean? And soy it doesn't have all those cancer causing fragrances. Okay, that's why you should cut your wig. All right, okay, we did it. Do y'all remember this messy garage? boxes I need are there. I think everything is in that one, so I'm gonna have to climb over and get it. I don't know what's in this one. Is it Christmas? Is it fall? Is it Halloween? It's definitely Halloween, autumn, fall. This is part of a costume I wore to a work party last year. I just put everything else in there. Y'all, I forgot I had these. Oh my gosh, so sweet. I got these at Spirit Halloween. I wonder if they're gonna have those again this year. Oh my God, this is so fun. I'm already excited, it's making me hungry. I super package everything because I love our stuff. I'm always like, Chad, I'm like, our stuff. I love it, I wanna take care of it because I want it to last forever. Hmm. But anyway. Guys, oh my god. Magic Curses Book of Spells. If you tell anybody we're having a good time, I'm gonna tell. <laughs> I love it. Um, I don't know if I was the only 
a little gay boy that thought he was a witch. I feel like most little gay boys were growing up. And boy, was I waiting for my 13th birthday. And then nothing happened. And then the 16th birthday came and then nothing happened. And now I'm 31. Chad, yesterday's like, oh, you're gonna be 30. You're a quarter of your way into 32. And I said, ooh, whoa, relax with making me truly in my 30s. Really, you blink. And then I'm almost 40. What happened? When did that happen? For some reason, I thought it was a lot more in those boxes, or maybe it just felt plentiful, like in abundance last year when I decorated. But let me show you guys. These are my pumpkins. Okay, so you see, it's just like a lot of random colors. Like I feel this like sage and that like sage and then these blues, they just don't go. So maybe they might need a little spray paint. A lot of the stuff's probably from like Home Goods and Hobby Lobby, Target, of course. Some like dish towels that Cornucopia was talking about. So a little jumble. I feel like last year I somehow made it work. Oh, and this is part of a costume that I think I can make decor this year. So I feel like there needs to be like color editing, even though I don't mind a colorful display. It just needs to be brought together. I'm gonna go around the house and get other decorations I have laying around and just anything I could use to kind of create a nice display. I got some more goodies. I went searching throughout the house, some moss for this like terrarium thing I'm gonna do. This gold bowl, I think for potpourri that I have that I'll show you in a minute. These little candles that bleed blood, drip blood. This little vessel kind of looks like Beetlejuice. I've had it on display all the entire year since I put it up last year, I just love it. This little skull and some faux black florals. I have a sugar skull that I'm not using also. I might use that, but for now, this is just the extra and I just brought down all the new stuff that I got this year. Ta -da -da. Okay, it's looking a little wild in here, guys. But this is my Halloween haul for this year. Okay, let me start with... I got this pillow, these two, like, reaper cloths, this little wreath, this little cute keychain, this skeleton stand, this, like, potion bottle, this, like, coffin. It's like a little birdhouse. I don't know what it is, but, like, a little kind of shadow box. This is for the outside, but I just want to show you guys since it's new. And this is all from Target, this little collection here. Mostly from the, I think almost all from the dollar section, except the Reaper cloths and the lights. That is from the actual seasonal location. Super excited about that. Next is, this is like the little dome terrarium thing that I was talking about. So this and these are from Ikea. Got those. This is from the Fresh Market. You see, you never know where you'll find decor, the grocery store. These are from the dollar store. I think these might go outside. I just ordered, hey sweetie, where'd she go? Oh, okay, kitties. Um, these might go outside on some webs that I just ordered on Amazon, so still waiting on those. This is from Lowe's. Chad loves the Haunted Mansion. It's his favorite ride in Disney World, so had to get him a little something. These are from Michael's current collection. Love those, a little potion bottle. It's like a little snake container, this little bird. These candles are from Crate and Barrel. Got those really quick. This little ghost, ghost, and then Ellen. And this little cake stand and coffin tray are all from Home Goods. So yeah, just a little, little haul, little collection I've been gathering. I feel like I have enough. Do you guys think? I don't know. And obviously I'm going to mix it in with like regular decor so it doesn't feel too like tacky. I want it to be purposeful and seamless. Y'all already know me. If I move things around, we're gonna clean, we're gonna disinfect, we're gonna sanitize, we're gonna dust. Mm. A 
I'm already getting too excited. I forgot I should definitely do like a before of this space. So this, <laughs> these are like little side tables and poofs that I need to relocate, but maybe we'll play with them today. So this is a before, and there's already somebody curious as to what's going on. And then we'll show you an after when we're done. Moment, y'all, as I said that, I thought, wait, let's remove every surface that I'm going to decorate and reinvigorate with life, clean it, and then I gotta play a lot. I gotta move things around different spaces. So I'm gonna take everything off. It's gonna be a big mess. And then we'll just move things around a million times until they feel right. Yes. Okay, this is the console before with our little DIY pedestals. This is our bookshelf before. And if you guys don't recognize that chair, Chad and I just reupholstered it. It was insane because the cats destroyed it. And here they are again, already in love with it. Yeah, good times, I know. If you go on my TikTok and Instagram, you'll see a little video of how we did it. And then our dining room, frame TV area, our bar cart. I'm gonna change this to a fun, spooky Halloween image whenever we're done. And then obviously I'll do some kind of like centerpiece for the dining table. This area needs work. That's Luke's beanbag. So let's not look at that. Y'all, intermission. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I feel like not inspired. It's so crazy because I have been like trying to collect resources to get inspired, aka Pinterest. And it's just not there. I think because I haven't eaten today and I don't want to dirty the kitchen and I don't have any like snack food. So we're at the Golden Arches in the drive through just to, even though it's not like the best brain food, I just I feel like I need like to step away and just to eat something. I'm having a tough time. I think I feel pressured, you know, because I'm sharing it with you guys, but it's gonna come out cute. It's our house, stop, it's already cute. You could just take nothing, like take everything out. It's so nice, at least I think so. Um, but yeah, give me a quarter pounder to help. <laughs> It is the next day. <laughs> so tell me how I got home. I had lunch, went into a food coma, and then I think I was in over my head. I just got so overwhelmed. There was stuff everywhere. I can't think when it's messy, like I was telling you guys. And then just going back and forth, I was just like, I'm just gonna take everything out, put all the wrapping away, kind of place things in the areas, like just kind of make little stories and then I will start again tomorrow. It is a new day. So here we are, it is Friday, TGIF. So I think I'm now ready to finish and I want to finish with you guys because I promised I would show you. I've been caffeinated this past lunch. I had the breakfast for lunch. So I think it is the right time. I set a candle. Here we go, part two. I am taking a risk putting this up anywhere because of Luke in specific. Ami is not as curious with things like this, but hopefully if I put it down, he won't be too interested, but we'll see if it's an issue when I have to take it down. So let's pray. <laughs> Okay, 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 enough chit chat. Let's start by watching me struggle with this web. Get your favorite fall drink, whether it be hot or cold. We all know mine is pumpkin spice. I'm gonna put some spooky music in the background. Hopefully this gets everyone in the mood and enjoy. Y'all, do you know who this is? 
It's Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> I saw like a Pinterest picture with like a creepy, creepy, spooky, dookie, bookie dude. And I was like, oh, I can find one. And then, I don't know, just a lot of Pinterest later, I ended up getting this. I was gonna go have it professionally printed, but then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna use the printer. It's not great, so don't get, don't look at it too much, the lines, but it works for now. And it was free. Don't ask me where I got this idea to put these old table napkins that are linen that I don't use anymore because it is always such a mission to get them straight and steamed. So I thought this little raven skull and decor beads needed just a little texture. You know, I feel like I could have done rocks or sand, but with the cats, mm-mm, a bad idea. So this is my next best thing. Now, looking at it days later, I'm like, is this giving Pirates of the Caribbean or is it Halloween? <laughs> Fun fact about that picture, that is the day that we spent 24 hours in Atlantic City just to see Mariah Carey live for her Christmas special. And that is the day that Chad asked me to marry him. I had no clue. I thought we were literally just going for dinner and a show and we'd be right back home. So it was definitely the most special day ever. The sitting area is complete with our little Caribbean raven. I think this console is a great home for Edgar and his little raven. These crate and candles were such a good find. Spell books and of course, pumpkins for fall. We've made it to the dining room. Absolutely love this bookcase. It kind of blends Halloween decor with the around decor. All the black on black, very attractive to me. Our new upholstered chair with our favorite accessory, Miss Ami. I still owe you guys a Halloween image on that. Console. Bar cart with no bar. Dining table, which little did I know I'd have to move that vase all the time to eat, but we love it overall.
Wait, wait, wait. Don't let me forget. I sneaked this in here. Instead of putting away the pumpkins, I'm like, no, I can put more pumpkins out. So I thought the laundry room was a perfect place. And every time we walk in, we're just greeted with a little fall. Just a fun little moment in the kitchen with the most delicious pumpkin gummies from the fresh market. A 10 out of 10 recommend. If anyone's wondering, I filled that and then the rest are almost gone because we've been snacking on them. I bought these yesterday. So good. Last but not least, the kitchen. Oh, look, another glorious morning. I don't know why I am all of a sudden Irish. That was not it, but okay. All right, guys, I think we're done. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think I'm super tacky and have no taste? I don't know. Please let me know in the comments. And if you guys need to know where anything is, I'm gonna do my very best to try and link everything that I have that's current below. Things from Home Goods, I mean, you see you wanna buy it. You gotta get it the first day. So I hope that I really have inspired you or you could take away if you guys have any questions or need any advice, guidance, let me know, I have the time. The next vlog, I'm gonna try and decorate outside. So the front patio, lights, I've got webs. I already ordered the lights, they changed colors. So I only have to put up lights once this season. Big mistake I made last year. There's some other little lights I might change, but not a big deal. So hopefully the weather clears up and it stops thundering and lightning all the time. I do not wanna fry and we can get that done ASAP so I can get it out for you guys so you guys can celebrate with me. I love Halloween. So until next time, guys, again, thank you for watching.